everything depends on uh, the person and uh, both men and women and uh, they both should be ready for relationships. Uh, Self-esteem is formed uh, in our childhood by our parents, by our family and it's influenced a lot. It's influenced by school later, by our teachers and so on. When they have a good self-esteem, they um, respect their own feelings, their own wishes and as well they respect the other people. So when you think uh, you are not worthy, in many cases you act like this and sooner or later your partner starts to think the same way. And... My dear subscriber, I am back to you with my new videos and after such a pause that happened during January and December, I uh, thought a lot how I can bring more value to people and um, to create more, to build more happy couples. And uh, I came to the conclusion that everything starts from inside and now I am going more to coaching and consulting. But uh, of course, still we uh, continue working with matchmaking, uh, but accept clients only mm, not so many and uh, very in a very choosy way. Uh, because actually everything depends on uh, the person and uh, both man and woman and uh, they both should be ready for relationships. And uh, today's topic is uh, self-esteem and how it influences on the relationships. I will share some basic information about it uh, and uh, I will share some uh, stories from practice, what we see, um, what happens uh, when people have uh, good adequate self-esteem or too, too high self-esteem or low. Uh, so, as you know, uh, self-esteem is formed uh, in our childhood by our parents, by our family and it's influenced a lot. It's influenced by school later, by our teachers and so on. And uh, in many cases we continue our life with already formed uh, self-esteem and it inevitably influences our relationships with our people, not only romantic, not only uh, our, how we build our family or our love relationships, but also it, it is about uh, all uh, relationships that build, you build uh, during your life. Uh, so there were uh, some sci scientific research and uh, more than uh, 9,000 people were asked, were uh, researched, how to say, and um, uh, there are the following uh, conclusions after this research. Uh, so uh, this research was about um, to find out if there is some difference how uh, people with uh, good self-esteem and low self-esteem build relationships. And uh, scientists were trying to find the difference. And they found out that if we talk uh, about short-term relationships, uh, people with uh, good, adequate, high self-esteem uh, they tend to, to have less uh, long uh, short term relationships, so they prefer to wait for someone right for them, uh, good enough uh, to start relationships uh, and to stay in them for a longer time to be happy in them. Uh, people with low self esteem tend to get into any relationships, uh, choose any partner that they possible partner that they meet during the life, and even if they see some obstacles or they see some drawbacks in the other person, they don't pay attention to it. They just they just happy that someone paid attention to them. And, and it's a big mistake that leads that uh, people with low self-esteem, uh, they have more short-term relationships and people with uh, uh, good self-esteem, they have more uh, happy and uh, quality uh, relationships, romantic relationships. Uh, so why people with uh, good self-esteem tend to more long-term term relationships? So the first point is that confident people don't want to refuse their normal, their usual life, lifestyle uh, just for sake of some partner. And if they see that this partner ha has, for example, different uh, life values or different lifestyle, 
they prefer to not even to start these relationships but uh, to wait for uh, the right one. The second point is that uh, confident people tend to build more healthy relationships when they have a good self-esteem, they um, respect their own feelings, their own wishes and as well they respect the other people and they respect the wishes of their partner too. Uh, and all this helps to keep relationships healthy and happy for long term. Uh, yeah, in our world now um, there are many changes and um, there is even a such a term uh, telling that there is serious monogamy in our world that uh, for some, some years you spend with one person, some years with the other. So at any rate it still uh, takes several years for you to spend with one uh, partner in long term relationships. And uh, third point, uh, while uh, why, um, confident people tend to have uh, more long-term relationships is that uh, they are usually more attractive because they're confident inside, they look in the following way, they attract. Uh, so uh, how you can uh, damage uh, your relationships with the partner, with the woman, uh, when you have a low self-esteem? Uh, first of all, such people uh, think that they are not worthy of this woman, for example, and uh, this is not only their thought, they talk a lot about it and they tell to the partner uh, about it and sooner or later, so when you think uh, you are not worthy, in many cases you act like this and sooner or later your partner starts to think the same way and inevitably it uh, deteriorates your relationship sooner or later. The second way how you can uh, make relationships worse by the self-esteem. It's um, such people usually don't look so handsome just because they are not sure, not confident in themselves. So they move, uh, they talk, uh, they look in not such a good way, uh, not uh, in a way that it could be attractive for women. And uh, they uh, obviously they don't have enough love to themselves, so they can. Uh, don't uh, take care of their body too much or their clothes and so on and uh, it influences the level of attractiveness for their uh, for girls. Uh, also they are they are usually afraid to trust to the other people so they try to regulate the level and again it influences the relationships and not to a good side. Also such people try to do their best, they always the best for the partner and they don't even uh, listen to their own uh, wishes, to their own feelings. And uh, they try to avoid conflicts, they tell some things to, to the par their partner, they do something that they even don't want internally, but they are afraid to be left, abandoned, maybe how it happened in the childhood, so they avoid conflicts. And as you know, good and constructive conflict is uh, useful for relationships. This way you can discuss some issues and uh, give yourself more chances for successful relationships. Also, people with low uh, self-esteem, they can handle, they can stand uh, the bad attitude to them because, you know, abusive relationships, they can go not from on, only from men, but also women can be uh, of a such kind. And uh, men with uh, low self-esteem, they don't struggle with it, they don't leave such relationships, but uh, they live in, in them. And again, it's bad for them uh, at first turn. Uh, such people tend to blame themselves in everything. If even uh, the, their partner did something wrong, um, for example, it, it's quite a famous uh, example that uh, there is a couple and uh, men or women are drinking a lot and the other partner who is not drinking, um, uh, she or he thinks that uh, it's only because of him or her. They find uh, millions of reasons to explain this bad uh, behavior of their spouse. Mm. Such people, they t tend to be quite very dependent on the other person. Uh, they feel uh, a need to be constantly in touch with their beloved person, with their wife or um, husband, if it's a woman. And um, as they, uh, they um, are afraid to be left at any moment. They are never sure and they are never confident neither in themselves nor in their partner. And the last um, 
point uh, it sets such people they don't uh, set personal boundaries they do very often what they really didn't like and uh, of course in such case they don't respect the personal boundaries of their partner too uh, because they just don't understand it uh, as for cases from practice in matchmaking i can tell you about something like uh, connected with self-esteem like men uh, after several dates he's always only asking about impressions of the girls after him and uh, he's never sometimes such people they even don't realize their own feelings they don't pay enough attention to them they just constantly ask what she thought about me what she, she thought about me and so on so they worry about the um, opinion of other people uh, but they even don't pay attention to their own feelings their own thoughts such men uh, on the meetings uh, they um, as i told you before they uh, try to do their best even more than necessary uh, during a dating stage or on the first meeting and you know it's um, not attractive factor for women actually because uh, i don't know about uh, your men, uh, your women in your countries but uh, our women ukrainian ones russian ones they prefer to see a strong confident uh, man uh, to whom on whom they re can rely in different situations and when a man is nervous and constantly trying to do everything for her even too much it is uh, the factor that uh, works on the uh, in the other way uh, such men are perceived like very unsure and uh, not confident in themselves in and even on the first date a uh, woman can reject such men because she doesn't feel these strengths inside of him in this video we, we discussed uh, how a self-esteem can influence relationships especially we discussed low uh, self-esteem and uh, uh, in the next videos i'm going to tell you what we can you can do about it uh, what you can do about your self-esteem to be um, more self-confident and hence to have more happy more healthy relationships but to build them first of all it's necessary to work uh, uh, internally i hope this video was useful for you don't forget to subscribe uh, my channel uh, like this video if you really liked it and uh, see you soon in our new videos